Hey, hello, everybody. My name is Cool Blonde. Bring you guys Random Podcast number 52. And this one is a special one because it's closer to 100 than the last one was. And that's really all the reason why it's a special one. I have no other reason to say that other than what I just explained. So, oh man, you guys can see my mouse. I don't like that. Oh. Let's see. I need to change that because you guys should not be able to see my mouse. Because I think, I honestly think that the mouse is very distra distra distracting. Distracting whenever you watch a cast. It's like you see the mouse moving all over the place. Especially my mouse because my mouse is everywhere. Just as I am almost everywhere whenever I do a cast. So, we are here in this game. It is a random podcast, so I do not know what's going to happen. Neither do you guys. So that was, that's what makes it fun for both of us because I'm casting from a I don't know what's going to happen perspective. I don't even know how long this game is going to last. Hopefully it does last like maybe 20 minutes. So I, so I can get my compendium stuff. No, I'm joking. This is not it's not the uh, this is not the international 2013 stuff. This is in fact a random pub, just a normal random pub, just a game I found. I'm too lazy to actually look for anything. And so I just go to the first page. As you see right here, I'm on page number four, and I found a game, jumped into it, and there I am. I'm in this game. And we see a bounty hunter, so I'm pretty happy about that. I hope we see great things Prepare come from this bounty hunter. For battle. <clears throat> so I hope you guys will uh, please bear with me. What I'm going to do is try my hardest to call these um, call everybody by their actual screen name as opposed to by their hero name. I will be doing this um, from time to time to basically get used to calling people out by their name as opposed to the hero they use. I know it might be confusing. I know it might make the viewer experience a little bit less, especially at first when I'm bad at uh, referencing things back and forth. But it is a necessary thing to do if I ever want to become a actual caster for like a pro match or something. Because... Everybody knows you don't you don't call Dendi Pudge, you call Dendi Dendi. Whenever you see Dendi do something with Pudge, you say, Oh my gosh, Dendi just got a nice hook. You don't say, Oh my gosh, Pudge just got a nice hook. Because it's, it's not as effective. So I have to get used to calling my names. Um, just just casually calling my names. That's really it. So all that goes a long way to say, Let me go and do introduction side of the radiant side, calling them my names. And not tell you guys who the hero is. No, let me, let me not do that. That would, that would not be fun. That would not be fun at all. 62 games. Wow, he's watched every single one. Cool. I've only watched 37. So, starting off with this disruptor, we see Sasi or Sasai on that disruptor. Moving over to this tusk, which I'm pretty happy to see because tusk is freaking awesome. We see Fubby on that tusk begins. on this co op or queen of pain, if you guys want to call it that. We see Volroots Vrkai. Someone's calling Vo on that queen of pain on this. Uh, crap, I forgot his name. Elder Titan. Elder Titan, we see HHNP. HH, no problem. And on this Timber Saw, I'm pretty happy to see that. We see a J on that Timber Saw. I think J that name looks familiar, so I need to look him up. Now, moving over to the Dire Side, starting off with this Tide Hunter. We see Noob, so we have a Noob on Tide Hunter. Lols. Uh, on this dish storm, dish storm Spirit. Storm Spirit, we see Vakai Vi Kiss 74 2. On him, and I think Titan might be facing an untimely death right now. He's taking a lot of damage from everything already. Elder Titan needs to go ahead and throw out that spirit so he can do a little bit more damage, but Titan took a lot of damage. Uh, he did see that Absorber get placed, so he knows he's going to have to deward that soon, and he'll be able to make it out alive. Now, moving over to the jungle, in the jungle, we see Laduo, Laduolo on that Enigma in the jungle. On his mid lane for the die, we see Tux Road to TI4. Heck yeah, I like the name. On that. OD, so this obviously I need to look up a few people on this one. And last but not least, down this bounty hunter, we see one, two, three on that no, bounty hunter. And I think that's everybody. So let me go ahead and start with this lane call out. So as far as the lane calls, we have a we have a Elder Titan Timber Saw, which is not a, actually a decent combination. The Timber Saw can do quite a bit of damage. Actually, Timber Saw might be going down pretty soon. He needs the Timber Chain. He doesn't have any points of Timber Chain. He does have a bottle right now. And to, uh, Elder Titan is trying to do what he can to body block, but Storm Spirit is just being as obnoxious as possible. Ty Hunter will have, will have a gush up in a few seconds. That's a free kill for him. First blood goes to the Ty Hunter. Noob able to pick up that kill with that gush. It's a very well played by him. Uh, HHMP tried his hardest to body block for his buddy, but it was not fast enough. Elder Titan, not big enough, apparently. And yeah, as far as calling these lanes, so Timber Saw Elder Titan versus a Storm Spirit Tide Hunter. Uh, this lane's more more so a Storm Spirit lane because Tide Hunter probably is going to continue continuously pull and only show up to just try to go for a kill. Uh, he needs a little bit more gold for his Century. Actually, he has enough gold for Century War, so he can't de-war that camp or de-war that neutral camp. I'm pretty sure he did see that Absorber War get placed down. Meanwhile, on mid, we see OD versus Queen of Pain. So we got Vo Tick doing quite a bit of damage to Tux already. Tux is that OD, by the way. Uh, Tux taking quite a bit of damage from that Shadow Strike. But Queen of Pain is out of mana because OD keeps stealing her intelligence. He's making her stupider and stupider by the minute. 
Uh, Mima down bottom with a BCBC Tusk Disruptor versus a lone Bounty Hunter. I think Bounty Hunter will be having a decent time in his lane. Not necessarily the best time in his lane, but he shouldn't be going down all that much. And as soon as I say, he takes quite a bit of damage from that Disruptor's uh, Thunderstrike. Nice wall thrown out by Tusk. These guys aren't able to find him. If they had a Central Ward, that would be a free kill, but Disruptor has no Central Ward. Meanwhile, Timbersaw goes down once again up top. OD goes down mid. Uh, kills going everywhere. Kills on kills on kills. <coughs> But long story short, Jay is not having a good time in his lane right now. Uh, he's pretty much getting shut down hard by... Was, did I have to get it again? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Timbersaw rotated mid. Timbersaw did have a... Uh, or sorry, Jay did have a haste room. He did rotate mid to try to go for a kill on top of OD. He was able to get the kill, but OD was able to finish him off. That was probably the tower getting the kill on top of that. Um, meanwhile, we see down bottom, we see 1, 2, 3, um, popping that healing style, trying to do a little bit, or trying to make sure he stays in lane for that much longer, but he's out of region right Dyer's now. He might be going for a attack. strike on top of Tusk. He will be able to go for that soon. No, he's going to go for disruption instead. Very nice choice. Uh, Sassy in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Fubby trying to do it again, and there's a disruptor popping that healing style. He wants to bait it out a little bit. I think bound here is a little trouble. 1, 2, 3 might have been a little bit more off bit off a little bit more than he could chew, but no, he is fine. I, I could have sworn Tusk was going to throw that, uh, throw that ice wall. But Tusk decided against it. You know, moving back up to up top, because we have been seeing a lot of action happen up here. We see Jay just chopping down all the trees, because he's Timbersaw. Who cares? Who cares what trees are? It does pure damage, so why not? They're going to go for a tie and Noob is here. Noob is taking a lot of damage. Oh my gosh, what a Noob thought. <laughs> what was Noob thinking? I don't know. I don't know what he's doing here, but he definitely got caught on the wrong spot. Uh, that reaction time was like the reaction time of a dead cat. I do have to say that much. So, a, l a little bit of a misplay on the on Noob. So, what can we expect? He's a Noob. Oh, I just made that joke. No, he's probably not a Noob. He probably destroyed me anyway. So, on the top lane, we see HHMP popping at Clarity, just trying to move around. Uh, what is Jay doing? Did, did Jay? Okay, Jay gave us bottle charges, so Dyer's HHMP can heal a little bit more mana because his <coughs> Elder Titan spells. Although they don't cost a ton, they do cost a lot relative to his mana pool. His mana pool, as you guys can see right here, is 377, and he is level 4 right now, with 0 points of stats. But Echo Stump and his Astral Spirit, that's like 100 mana each, so he can only do a combination once. And we got a Tie Hunter around the corner, or Noob around the corner, and HHMP walking around the corner as well. I think, I think Storm saw it. Storm's not going to be able to get out of fast enough. He gets, uh, he gets put to sleep. Timbersaw's going to do as much damage as possible. That's all his burst damage. And there's a free kill. Timbersaw, or Elder Titan, able to pick out the kill, actually. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Noob is trying to do what he can. He can't really do much. Enigma comes in from, from the jungle. Ladulo is going to throw out the Alephus on top of the Elotan. Elotan's in a lot of trouble. Titus is going to try to come for the kill. He throws out the Anchor Smash, and Enigma is able to finish off with the last hit. Uh, HHMP tries his hardest uh, to pop that healing cell, but it wasn't no. enough. Meanwhile, mid, we see Queen of Pain going down to the OD. OD still on her tails, just then popping his ulti and able to pick, up the, or pick her off at the end. Almost going down himself. Or he had to dive a little bit, but it wasn't all that much. Because she only had like a slither HP last time I saw. <laughs> I think Queen of Pain was able to buy up her item, so Va Vo, I think, is that what's going on? Vo, yeah, Vo. Vo not really feeling too bad about that. Not feeling too terrible about that. So let's see, Elder Titan throwing his Astral Spirit, trying to go for the Storm on top of Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit is not level 6 just yet, so he gets put to sleep. Timbersaw can come and try to do as much period damage as possible, but he's out of mana right now, so they're not going to go for it. Uh, he does need to go pick up the rune. The rune does spawn in another three seconds, so we will be seeing where it goes. And it's obviously bottom because I looked at it; it's obviously there. Timbersaw trying to get that rune, but there's no rune there. Queen of Pain also has a bottle as well, so uh, this bottle management is actually a little touchy. They could start bottle crowing, but that curry is not upgraded yet. Uh, we need uh, we need we need disruptor to get on his job right now. Bounty hunter rotating to pick up the rune. He's going to find himself a Queen of Pain around the corner. Uh, one, two, three is only level. Uh, he's level six. Never mind. I was about to say he's only level four, but he's level six, so he can actually try to rotate and see if they can get a kill on top of this Quap. Quap does have an invis rune, so if Bounty Hunter comes in and throws out the track on top of her before she notices it, then they can just go for a free kill on top of that. Track will be coming soon. soon. There's a track on top of Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain knows she's in a lot of trouble. She's gonna go ahead and try to blink away. She does, in fact, blink away, and she'll save her room for another day. That's kind of, uh, they both are probably trying to hope, or kind of hoping that she will get aggressive and try to go for the kill on top of OD, because her ulti is not up yet, Never mind. She is almost level 6 though. But once she does hit that level, to where she can just ulti the crap out of uh, OD, then that'll been a, that'll been a nice time to rotate. So, a little, a little bit of misplay, but I mean, you, you can't, you can't call them all. Times is coming up here, he's gonna help out the, uh, help out the Vikings get a free kill on top of this Timbersaw. Timbersaw almost able to get the kill, or almost going down. 
other side and trying to do as much damage as possible to the Stone Spirit. Stone Spirit's out of mana. And oh man, HHMP trying to go and trying to do what he can, but Tyrant is slowing down. Here's Enigma as well. Enigma throws a black hole, catches two. Elder Titan ulti does get popped, and everybody gets caught in so they get slowed and pulled in, but it's not enough. Uh, Donna Hero TP's up top. He gets a track. Disruptor comes from the middle of nowhere. What is he doing? Go home, Disruptor, you're drunk. He gets a kill on top of the Enigma. <clears throat> so he's pretty happy about that. But long so short. Since you thrown out by the disruptor, they're gonna go for the kill on top of this bounty hunter. There's a pause, tactical pause coming in from bounty hunter. At least die before you do that. Yeah, did, did Queen of Pain miss her ulti? Oh man, Vo, what are you doing? You're drunk. Oh man, Vo's ulti is completely whiffed. I, ca I can't see what direction she actually screamed in. It looks like it looks like it's going from this corner all the way up to this way. So it's going that way. But bounty hunter obviously having issues. They unpause. He's gonna die anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, okay, she did scream in the right direction, but he's still gonna die. Come on, guys, let him die, and then let him come back. He's dead. One, two, three, biting off a little bit more he could chew. I thought, I, I could have sworn that Sazi was biting off a little bit more he could chew. Uh, Disruptor Sazi. But, apparently he had the rotation coming from Queen of Pain. She was close by, she was probably about right here. When he, t oh. Wait, wait, you guys can't, darn it, you guys can't see that. Wait, can you see, can you only see what's in the vision? I don't know, you guys can see it. But she was probably about right there and where the green box is forming. When he TP'd up top. And she was able to get her ulti on top of Bounty Hunter, so that's a lot of damage getting done to him. They will unpause, they will let him die, and there's his life gone. Well, okay, his life's not gone yet. They keep pausing, he's not gonna make it. Even if he shadow walks, he's not gonna make it, because there's a Century War placed inside the cloud, so he's gonna die regardless. This is a uh, time well wasted, to be honest. And he's only gonna be dead for like what? 20 seconds. And there's the uh, OD throwing a few little taunts at Queen of Pain. He did win his lane pretty hard, as far as I can see. He has two kills, one death. Uh, one of those deaths, I think, was from Timbersaw whenever Timbersaw came in. But Queen of Pain trying to get a kill. And she will be able to get the kill. And there's Bounty Hunter about to go down. He does go down. There you go, he's dead. Let him stay dead for 20 seconds. Come on, guys. 20 seconds of unpause time. Anyway, so let me stop. Let me stop being the one who's trying to rush things through. Let me gonna take this moment to appreciate the fact that I have a pause and look at the items that everybody's built up. Start off with this timber saw. Timber saw did in fact build himself a well, nothing interesting yet. Actually, I want to look at Tusk. Okay, Tusk has arcane boots. I actually like that choice because his his uh, ice wall costs 120 mana if I'm not mistaken. So it costs 120 mana for that ability. So maybe he can throw out an ice wall, throw or pop his. Arcane boots and then potentially going for the rest of his combination. Because if you add up his uh, ulti and you add up his uh, snowball, that costs 125. So it's co quite costly for him to use his abilities. And actually, Dyer's speaking of which, he did throw his ability just now. Attack. Yeah, it's, it's quite costly to throw his abilities. Arcane boots will heal him up for 135 mana, so a net gain of 110 mana. Because it costs 25 mana to actually use it. Which I think is hilarious. It costs mana to make mana. Just like Coddle, if Coddle's out of mana, he can't make mana. It's, it's funny. Bottom tower is under so anywho, Tusk has arcane boots. I'm pretty cool about that. I might, I might actually adopt that myself. He is. Uh, oh man, we got TP coming in mid from Tusk. These guys want to go for kills off OD. OD might be able to make it alive. He's gonna try to get up the Elder Titan right behind him. There's the ice wall going out. Ice wall does miss. OD did get a sniff of that, and he backed on up while he could. I think Tusk might have TP'd in tower range. Dyer's middle tower is under Meanwhile, Enigma's tower. still far in the jungle. He is level 8 right now. And he's doing pretty well in the items. Uh, he's trying to build himself a a uh, headdress. Not a headdress. He's trying to build himself a mechanism. So that he can... Uh, and then probably after that he'll go for the blink dagger. But I definitely Dyer's like going for that better. Uh, sleep thrown out by Elder Titan. OD's caught on the backside. Uh, Enigma's here. They, these guys did try to bait it out. And OD does instantly, instantly make himself banished. And there's an Elder Titan ult again thrown out. Nobody will be getting caught in that. He did throw in the wrong direction. Uh, maybe he threw a forward a little bit more. OD with a big ulti. This turned the fight. He did go down, but it doesn't matter. Everybody's low. Tuskar goes down as well. A uh, Banner able to get track for that. And Elder Titan hits so freaking hard. He's gonna go ahead and throw out a sleep. Sleep does miss everything. And there's Enigma. Enigma just throwing the Maleficent on top of Timbersaw. Timbersaw able to make it alive because I think he had 50 one charges. I don't really know. Uh, he had a lot of one charges. Elder Titan doesn't have enough mana for anything, but he's trying to he's trying to he's trying to chase the best of his ability. He doesn't have any points inside of his uh, inside of his natural order, so there was no less or no reduction in no reduction in uh, stats and all stuff. But anyway, long story short, long story short, Enigma goes down regardless. Elder Titan TP's out very smartly. OD's gonna come around the corner try to pick up a Timber Saw. Timber Saw does have Timber Chain, so he can't just Timber Chain away. Queen of Pain will be the, his target. Her intelligence is officially gone. 
Radiance bottom and she's tower out of mana attack. for Blink right now, so she needs to play extremely careful. Bounty Hunter's walking around the corner. Bounty Hunter finds himself a Timbersaw. He needs to go ahead and throw a track. Timbersaw's in a little bit of trouble. He needs to go ahead and pop those bottle charges. He knows that he should know he's tracked right now. Tyrants is here to help out as well. And there's a pause. Come on, Timbersaw's gonna die. Just let him die first. Okay, Timbersaw buys himself something. He buys his arcane boots before all that happens. Tuscar comes around the corner. Tuscar able to snowball in, but it wasn't enough. Um, if Bounty Hunter didn't go invisible, he might have been able to get him. Uh, Titan's a little bit trouble. Titan's ulti is up, but he's out of mana for it. Actually, no, he has a magic wand, so if he pops it, I think he's out of mana for it. But he's gonna go ahead and save it for the next engagement and get a few more mana charges before he goes down. There, wand charges. Meanwhile, Storm Spirit. It's farming. He's trying to build himself an Orc of Malevolence. He does have that double Null Talisman, which I have seen a lot of Storm Spirit do. But apparently, Elder Titan needs a pause. Storm Spirit is able to zip away, and he makes it out. And where's Elder Titan? Timber Souls in base. He just spawned. Where's where's the other time? There he is. So so far in all these games, I think Elder Titan's ulti has been in the wrong direction. But that's um potentially if if he puts it in the right direction, of course the it'll turn the tide of the fight. But um I think the fight that happened mid, his uh, ulti was flying. And uh, oh there he is. His ulti was flying in this direction, as opposed to this general direction. So. If it, was, if it was flying in the other direction, he might be able to get a kill on top of Titan to a little bit easier instead of having a disruptor having to run up and throw it, or Enigma maybe. Whoever it was. Timbersaw's in a little bit of trouble. He's on the wrong neck of the woods. He's. Oh man, oh man. That was a, a beautiful glimpse from Disruptor. They're able to pick off the Storm Spirit before he's able to do anything. Timbersaw's in a little trouble. He's getting hit with the Malefice. He's probably going to throw out his ulti. He tries to chain away. He does chain. He, I think he got a little bit of damage on top of Bounty Hunter, but that'll be about it. Uh, meanwhile, we see Elder Titans up here. Everybody's up here. Bounty Hunter is scouting out for his team. No sentry words on anybody as far as I'm concerned. I think I thought Disruptor had a last, uh, had another sentry ward, but he did already use it, apparently. And I don't think the Dire will be one of this fight. They do decide to fight this. OD is a little bit ways away. Bounty Hunter trying to do a little bit of harassment damage. He's able to get a little bit of damage on top of that Disruptor. It's an Ice Ball. Go not by... Thrown up by Tusk, sleep thrown up by the Elder Titan, but it didn't really do anything. Disruptor trying to do as much damage as possible. He's able to get a little bit more damage on top of that OD, and I think Tusk already going out. He's going to go ahead and turn around, throw an Ice Ball. Beautiful Ice Ball by him. He dodges. Oh my god. <laughs> Tusk got with a beautiful play, and I totally forgot to call him by his name, but um, he's got his name, his name. So, Bobby with a beautiful play. Uh, Vo, Vo, Vo does throw out the ulti, able to catch out whoever that was. I didn't see who it was. Ty Hunter did pop his ulti, but it was not enough. And Tux is just getting outplayed. Tux is the OD, by the way. And like, like I said, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna try my hardest to call my names, but this is a very difficult thing to do because I'm not used to doing it. So I've been calling HHMP by his name the whole time, I guess. Because that's really that's easy to remember. It's like HHR block, whatever. So in Storm Spirit, we have Vicus. Vicus, I'll call him Vicus. So Noob did pop his ulti. Uh, tie, did pop that tie on ulti, so they will not have it for the next engage, but they will be able to find themselves a free kill on top of this, uh, on top of this, uh, the, 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 on top of Timbersaw, which is Jay. So Jay does go down. Not really worth that much gold. I think Bounty Hunter got a track, so 1, 2, 3, able to get a little bit of track off from that. And there was a glimpse back from Disruptor onto, the, onto Tux. So Sassy feeling pretty cool about that feeling. <laughs> And there's a little bit of foul language thrown out by the OD. Stormspin is going to ball lightning for He has no mana for anything. And he's trying to run away while he can. He throws out the ulti, throws out the wall. He might be able to survive. He pops that magic wand. And he's able to survive. Wow, well played. Well played, Sassy. Well played. He's able to get the glimpse back on top of the on top of the OD. And he's able to save his own life. He did have to use his ulti for it. And oh man, chat's on. Let's go ahead and close this. Don't know what that said, but whatever it said. So Fubby is going for Shadow Blade, he's going for the typical Tuscar, but he did decide to go for the Arcane Boots instead of the Face Boots, which you typically do see Tuscars do. I do like Arcane Boots better because it, it, it increases the mana pool so you can do a little bit more. Um, it just makes your combination that much easier to pull off because you will know you know that you will have the mana for your combination. That's what I was trying to say. Jay is able to uh, wrap up forward, get the, uh, catch, get the jump on top of Noob, and Noob is walking right through that, right through that ulti from Timbersaw. He will be going down. Queen of Pain threw out the scream as well to help out with the damage. Elder Titan is able to pick up the kill though. Um, meanwhile, we see Noob. Noob does have an Invis rune. He finds himself an Enigma around the corner. Enigma is over here. I think Ladulo. He might know that somebody's here. He might know that he's in a little bit of trouble. Nope, he doesn't know just yet. 
Jay throws out the uh, throws out the ulti. He rapples forward to the high ground. Probably not the place that he wanted to rapple to, but he did rapple there. So he's he's able to save Enigma's life a little bit. Enigma will be getting put to sleep uh, by that by the sleep from HHMP. Uh, loses Tux. Tux is trying to run away. He gets hit with the ulti from Queen of Pain. Probably able to do a massive amount of damage. And there's Elder Titan's ulti able to catch out nobody actually. It was a preemptive ulti. He's going to go ahead and turn around, throw out the sleep. He cancels the sleep because he knows he heard, uh, he heard Vikus coming through. And there you go, he pops the sleep anyway, so never mind. He wants the Astral Spirit forward and then through the sleep, and he'll be able to make it out alive. Thanks to his allies with their beautiful play. Meanwhile, Fubby's still farming, so we got a DC coming out from 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 having a few issues. Who's getting caught out? I didn't see who it was. That was Noob getting caught out by the Queen of Pain. Tusk God. Oh, sorry, by the Queen of Pain. Disruptor and whoever else that was. Couldn't talk. Radiance top tower is under attack. Ladulo, he probably probably wishes that he put that blink dagger first, but I, I honestly like going for mechanism instead of going for blink dagger, because mechanism makes you a little bit more survival, it makes your idolons a little bit more survival, and it makes you contribute a little bit more to your team. Uh Tex is gonna come forward, steal some more intelligence from that Queen of Pain, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, that was disruptor. And there's a storm spirit going from long range, trying to get the kill on top of the Sazi. On Sazi, Sazi will be going out one way or another. Uh, he's, he's taking quite a bit of damage. And Nigma coming on the backside to help out as well. And now Vikas is out of mana. He needs a little bit of mana. Nobody has arcane boots on the side. Uh, not even Tide. Tide probably wishes he has arcane boots. He has a lot of warm charges, though. So that's a pretty cool thing. And then Big Team Fight might be having a mid. Uh, we got one, two, three. He's still DC right now, so they probably won't be pausing for him anytime soon because this fight will be happening one way or another. Tide's ulti is up. He's ready for the engagement. Uh, we got everybody waiting around on the radiant side. Or on the backside, <coughs> other times going to go and throw a spear. He's going to put everybody to sleep, and everybody backs away fast enough. Od make uh, Od Od uh, banishes himself. Make sure he doesn't take anything. Now Timbersaw is on the run. Timbersaw is taking all the damage from everything. He goes down to the Od. So Tuck's able to finish him off with that ulti. And this looks like a free mid tower. Uh, Bounty Hunter is not here yet, but they're going to go ahead and micro the best ability. Uh, Fubby coming in as fast as he possibly can. He does have a Shadow Blade up. Oh, no, he doesn't have a Shadow Blade. I thought he had a Shadow Blade up. Uh, who's, oh my gosh, Bike is getting, uh, getting beautiful glimpses coming from Disruptor. He's able to catch up the He's able to catch up the Storm Spirit and put him back in. And Nigma with the ulti. It was a nice ulti, but it wasn't enough. Uh, ulti from Tusk. Oh, no, ulti from Tusk. Ulti from Elder Titan thrown out. It did catch in Nigma. It did push him back in. I thought. I think it pushed uh, Tyrant back in as well. Oh, it's a bounty hunter. Whoever it was, it pulled him back in as well. And that was that was actually a really nice ulti coming out from Elder Titan. So it just shows the power of, of the ulti from Elder Titan. Um, basically what it does is uh, whenever you throw it out, it not only does a damage, or it not only does damage to you based on the percentage of your, the, the, a percentage of your maximum HP, geez. but it also pulls you back in towards the middle. So that's 35% uh, max HP as damage, and it pulls you into the middle as well. So it just makes it uh, that much more deadly, especially when Teamfights comes out and somebody's trying to run away, they're trying to juke, like Enigma's trying to run away. He's trying his hardest to run away in this direction. Uh, yeah, you guys can see that. He was trying his hardest to run away in that direction, but Elder Titan's ulti pulled him right back in that way, so he had to just continue truck on forward, and he was pretty much dead by then. So with one man down on the side of the diary, they're probably probably going to have probably going to be hard press to do anything, especially considering the fact that Queen of Pain has a decent amount of burst damage. Timbersaw, he's doing quite well. Uh, Elder Titan's able to catch out everybody with the sleep. And Storm Spirit, he can't really do anything. Bounty Hunter's finally coming back. There's a glimpse from Disruptor, pulling Tyrant right back to where he was before. Oh, wait, no, no. That was Bounty Hunter? I didn't see. I didn't see who Glimpse got thrown, thrown on. But it did get thrown on somebody. Ulti from Tyrant is still up. And. OD throws out his Ashton Prison on top of Tusk, and Tusk is in a little bit of trouble. There's no detection on the side of the Dire. Uh, these guys, oh my guys, beautiful ulti coming up from Timbersaw, catching everybody. Also, beautiful, um, beautiful blade, saw blade, runs on Time's able to get the ulti off of that. What cost? Uh, his team is pretty much already dead. Storm Spirit will be dying relatively soon. Uh, Nigma's, uh, everybody's getting hit with that. Everybody's getting hit with that ice thing. Sigil from Tuskar. Got like from Queen of Pain, double kill for Queen of Pain, double kill for OD. Who will be winning this fight? It looks like the Radiant will definitely win this fight. OD goes down as well. Triple kill for Queen of Pain, ultra kill for her. She needs one more for a Rampage, but she will not be able to get the Rampage anytime soon. And there's Elder Titan. He does have two points inside of his natural order. Does it affect towers? Does it affect buildings? That's the question. But he does have a few points out of his natural order, which is actually really nice because his uh, illusion or his astral spirit, I guess you will call it that, it does get it as well. So whenever he, whenever he throws that astral spirit out into the middle of a team, everybody has their armor reduced. It also has 
their magic resistance reduced as well. So that means they're taking crap ton of damage from everything, especially when you have a Queen of Pain on your team. That can be that can be extremely deadly. So it's a Timbersaw who has all that damage coming out from his ulti, and also all that period damage coming from him as well. Uh, we got Queen of Pain with her scream, and we got Disruptor with his cloud, so that's just a nasty combination. All Elder Titan has to do is stand still, and everybody's going to be taking increased damage. The only thing really that the Radiant side is lacking is the actual physical late game carry, but Queen of Pain can fill that role pretty easy, Tuscar can fill that role as well, so uh, they're, they're pretty much good on that, especially since, especially considering the fact that Queen of Pain has such... Well, she, she didn't have a good start, but her mid game has been really nice, especially with these team fights breaking out. Uh, her team has been winning essentially every single team fight. Tuscar comes around the corner, Enigma sees him, but he doesn't think he's going to be able to go, in, go for him yet. And now he turns around, throws out the Shadow Blade, throws out the ulti. He's going to go for the kill on top of Enigma. Enigma did decide to back away very smartly, so Tuscar coming in like a man, and he will find nobody. He finds Eidolons instead. He's gonna go ahead and try to kill him, but no, they die before he can ever get there. Bounty Hunter comes on the corner, Bounty Hunter pops his visibility. I think Tuscar saw that. I think they all saw that. And we got the rotation coming in from the Dire. Tyrant's ulti is up. And another 25 seconds. More than likely it'll be up when the next team fight breaks out. And we got Bounty Hunter throwing a track on top of Illusion. Queen of Pain's Illusion is gonna be chasing him. And he's gonna hide away. He's like, ah, oh, that's Illusion. What am I worried about? Just more movement speed for him, really. And do they have any detection is the question. They do have a gym on top of Disruption, so Bounty Hunter needs to be really careful. Uh, all he has to do is, if Bounty Hunter walks in right now, he's going to die. So he will certainly be seeing his death. He sees a creep attacking him, so he probably knows what's up. He's going to go ahead and back away while he can. And here's Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit gets the, uh, gets the pull on top of Timbersaw. There's ulti from Elder Titan. It will be catching too. And those two do get comes out. Storm Spirit takes all the damage from that. He gets turned into a piggy as well. Enigma took a lot of damage. He pops his mechanism, so he needs to turn the up. Tyranter can't pop his ulti because he's stuck inside the silence. If only he can get out and pop his ulti is all he wants to do. He will not be able to do anything. He's going to try to run over Tusker, but Tusker will be able to chase him all his life. Or to the gates of hell, and he'll probably make it there. Disruptor throws out a glimpse on top of Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter's trying to run away while he can. There's, there's a gym on top of Disruptor as well, so these guys can come to him. Times are trying, trying as hard to save his ulti. Tuscar being as annoying as possible. And Bounty Hunter's still getting, they're still on the run. He will be going out. He's getting tracked down himself. He goes down. Times are trying to turn around. See if he can go for kill on top of Tusk, but Tusk able to finish him off. Nope, they finish off each other. It's like Romeo and Juliet. Tuscar finishes off Ty Hunter with the blade, and Ty Hunter finishes off. Tuscar with the poison, and all in all, Fubby going down for Noob. Under attack. Oh yeah, that sounds weird when I say it like that, but but his name is Noob, guys. Tyrant's name is Noob, and Fubby went down for a Noob. So, so technically, technically it makes sense. It makes sense, guys. You know it makes sense. I'm also really digging this uh, item choice on top of HHMP, which is the Elder Titan. He does have a Vladimir's offering and his power choice as well, so Vladimir's offering is pretty nice reason, pretty nice sustain. Uh, we got Bo getting caught up by, uh, by, by Kiss, and Queen of Pain not able to get away. Uh, like Dulo. Dulo. I'll call him Dulo. Dulo coming in with the Maleface, able to make sure she, or making sure that Queen of Pain can't get away. And now we got the Dire trying to push the hardest mid. I still do think that Radiant do have the crazier advantage because their team fight potential is actually quite high. Tyrant Hunter has his ulti, but it's only up every 120 seconds or something like that, every two minutes. I think at level, yeah, it's, it's every two minutes, 30 seconds actually. Did Disruptor go down? Disruptor did not go down, so he still does have his gem. He's trying to build himself a, a uh, thing. What's it called? Four staff. And he also has a drum as well. So drum is really nice for survivability, also helps out when the team fight breaks out. And there's Disruptor coming in, or no, Disruptor, Tux coming in, he's trying to go for the kill on top of Fubby. Fubby just throws his ice balls away, and the courier from Radiant, or from Dyer, I don't know what he's doing here. Beautiful ulti coming from Noob, beautiful ulti coming in for HHMP, I think he caught two, but it will not be enough. To sh or, <coughs> Tux is gonna go ahead and, go ahead and, uh, what's it called, what's it called? Banished himself, but it wasn't enough. There's too much damage from here, the Radiant are in too good of a position to actually doing, or to, to lose to that. Or, for him to juke, that's what I'm trying to say. And the Dire in full retreat, so noobs able to make it all alive, and also a du uh, Dulo. Yeah, it's Dulo. Dulo even make it all alive, so. It's, it's very difficult to talk about names, guys. It's like, uh, man. It's it's one of those things where, like, you, you can do it, but you keep forgetting to do it, and then and then you try to do it again, and, but it's been so long that you forgot how to do it again, and then you have to relearn. And, uh, it's confusing. Curry bringing Jay. 
his item. It looks like he's building himself a Hood of Defiance, so he will be having that fully up. That would be really nice, especially considering the fact that OD does do almost purely magic damage. That is pure damage, though, so you can't really block much of it. But I still, like, like I said before, the interaction between pure damage and uh, magic resistance, I think I think the more magic resistance you have, the less pure damage you feel. But pure damage is still pure damage. It ignores magic resistance and armor. And I, I, I don't know, guys. It's confusing. It's one of those things where I have to look up again to make sure I'm telling you guys the right thing. But long story short, pure damage should go through magic resistance completely. Don't really know. May may maybe it's pure damage goes through your base magic, regi or magic resistance, but any extra magic denied. resistance it doesn't go. So like, pure damage does an extra 25% magic damage. Because uh, ev every hero innately has 25% magic resistance inside of them. So may maybe that's what pure damage does. <laughs> Who really knows? Oh, wait, I know. Valve knows. Ice Frog knows. Axe Ice Frog. He knows. He knows things. Glimpse thrown out by Disruptor. Everybody doing as much damage as possible to whoever that was. I didn't see who it was. I couldn't see him fast enough. That was o or that was OD. Tuck's going down. Pretty sad about that. Vo's gonna go ahead and pick up his item. He's building himself an Agonist after finds himself an Enigma around the corner. That's a free kill for him. Actually, him. Oh, no, no. Times might be popping his ulti. No, Times doesn't have his ulti right now. Vo's gonna be able to blink out. Does get hit with the Malefice once again. She does have a hatred as well. But she'll Dyer's be fine. She has a bottle charge to heal attack. herself all and up. And what is Bad Hunter building? One, two, three. Only has himself face boots and a drum. That's really it. Oh man, things have not been going good for him. Tesco's on the chase for Bounty Hunter. He will be found himself a Bounty Hunter. He's going to go and throw his ulti throws hey, as much as he possibly can. Tyrant is here. Tyrant's ulti is up. This will be a nice time to pop it. Because that's a big team fight by the breakout. He's trying to wait for more reinforcements. He's going to get pulled back in. Pops that ulti. Beautiful positioning. Thank you, Disruptor. Thank you so much. And there's an ulti from Enigma. Beautiful follow up as well. Catching three. Actually, catching two. But it doesn't matter. It was an important two. Cuts the Timbersaw as well. There's an ulti from. Ulti from HHMP, he's pulling everybody back in, that ulti did hit almost everybody, and everybody's on the run. Who's getting caught on side? Noob is on the run. Noob is, that cracking shell cracking around side. But he does go down to the Elder Titan, to the Elder Titan Astral Spirit, and oh my gosh, of all things. OD getting put to sleep by it. He does banish himself as fast as he possibly can, but he will be going down. There's no way he's going to be able to make it out of life. Pops the ulti, try to do what he can, but it's not enough damage. Not enough damage. You must spot additional pylons. That's what the Protoss guy says. Additional supply detail required. That's, that's what uh, Terran says. And what is? Radiance oh, bottom oh, tower uh, is under attack. You must. Mm. You must spawn more overlords. Yeah, you must spawn more overlords. There you go. That's what he says. So there you go. Starcraft reference for the day, guys. Starcraft reference for the day. I still don't have Starcraft two, which makes me sad. I, I told the myself that I wasn't gonna buy Starcraft two until Heart of the Swarm. And then Heart of the Swarm came out. I was like, Nah, screw it. I'm not gonna buy it at all because I play Dota now. But anyway, long story short, this fight will be breaking out over here. Uh, long story short, I don't have, uh, I don't have start up. I was with the beautiful sleep, catching on Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit does go down to the Thunderclap from Disruptor. And there's the Elder Titan's Astral Spirit. It's like, come to me, brother. I'm coming. I'm coming home. And he jumps in. More movement speed for him. But the Dire, you can't necessarily say the Dire did hold, hold that off. They lost two for the cost of nothing. So... They actually got picked off. So the the rating making a good of a bad situation because the rating did overstay the welcome a little bit. The only the only thing that was the only thing that's really hurting the dire at this current point in time is not the fact that they're losing all team fights. It's not the fact that posi their, their positioning is not the perfect or not the most perfect at all or perfect thing in the world. It's the simple fact that they're um, that their big team fight ultis that they have such long cooldowns. Od's ulti has a cooldown of what two minutes? Yeah, two minutes has a two minute twenty second cooldown. Or sorry, 2 minute 40 seconds cooldown. Uh, Nigma's ulti has a long cooldown as well, and Tyrant's ulti has a long cooldown as well. So, so all the team fight that the Dire have, as great as the Wombo combo is for on this side, they can't do it because there's... <laughs> their cooldowns are so long. I'm sorry, they, they, they can't do it over and over and over and over like the Radiant can. The Radiant, their ultis have relatively short cooldowns, comparative, comparatively speaking. Okay, okay, I get, yeah, so, sure. Let's let's say that ultis have relatively low cooldowns, compared to speaking, because uh, Elder Titan's ulti, his ulti has a cooldown of, what, a minute and 40 seconds, which is actually almost a, lo a little bit over the time of when you expect to see a team fight. Timbersaw's ulti, he can throw it out whenever he wants. Tuskar's ulti, he can throw it out whenever he wants. Disruptor's ulti does have a short cooldown, if I remember correctly. Yes, it does have just a short cooldown, as Elder Titan's ulti does have. 15 seconds long, that's all it, that's it. But with all those ultis down, they can't do their wombo combo that they're probably hoping for. They, what they what what the dire essentially want in the team fight is they want times to those ulti. They want Enigma to get a good position so Enigma can do a black hole, and they want OD to finish them off with his ulti. So they, that's what they want.
but they can only do that once every essentially two minutes. And that's that's not gonna cut Radiant's it, especially at this stage in, stage in the game, because the team fight's expected to happen about every 60 seconds, and the Radiant had the better team fight composition because their their ultis can come up a little bit faster than guys who ulti can. And oh by the way, it's Elder Titan throwing out his stupid negative everything on everybody. With all that reduction, all that armor reduction, all that magic resistance reduction, all that stuff. So, it just, it just makes things harder. It just makes things much harder for the Dire to actually do anything. OD's trying to do as much damage as he can, though. He's trying to get he's like, He does get punched by a Tuscar. He's trying to get caught out. There's nothing he can really do. He can throw his ulti. He throws his ulti, but it caught... I think he called it Elder Titan Spirit. And there's ulti from Titan And there's Enigma. Enigma, where are you? Enigma's not here. But his ulti's up. He can't really do anything. Uh, he's not in a good spot. He throws out his ulti. He gets silenced instantly. He gets turned to a pink as well. And he goes down. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's gotta be painful. And really, what else? What, is, what else is there to say? I mean, HHMP, he's throwing out his sleeps everywhere. Vo is doing all the damage that his team needs him to do. Uh, Jay is doing all the all the pure damage that his team needs him to do. And oh, by the way, it's still Disruptor, who has who has been doing a really good job with all his talents. He's doing a really good job with all his walls. So Sazi, Sazi, big props to you. That was really well played. He also has a gym. Well, basically. I basically think about it like this: when the support on the enemy team on the enemy team has the gym. Well, the support on the enemy team has a gym. They're expected to lose the gym because, well, their support, they don't have uh, as many items. They're not as survivable, as far as I can tell. Or as, as, as far as I see it. But this support, he has had the gym for, like, ten minutes. So he's had the gym for a long time. He hasn't died since he had the gym, if I'm not mistaken. So that basically means that... Sorry. Um, that, that basically means that the Dire have been failing to actually kill the people who matter. Uh, in, in, in my eyes, the support should die first because they're easy to kill, and they also have pro usually have the most disabled. So Disruptor, he's been throwing out his glimpses, he's been throwing out his thunderclaps, he's been throwing uh, thunder strikes, he's been throwing out his kinetic fields, he's been throwing out static storms, and nobody has really been bothered with him because they've been focusing too much on Queen of Pain, Tuscar, and Elder Titan. When at the end of the day, Elder Titan, he's tanky as crap, and Queen of Pain, she she's evasive as crap, and Tuscar, he's well just as evasive. He's not really as tanky or as evasive, but he's evasive too. So it, it, it comes down to a question of who do we focus first, and it's really hard to say who the Dire should actually focus first at this point in time because Disruptor, he's survivable. He has a plate mail, for God's sakes. He can survive a Bounty Hunter Genata crit and like feel like maybe 10 damage of it, the whole thing. So he can, he's, he's really survivable right now. So the Dire are going to go ahead and try to take on Roshan to the best of his ability. Tuscar is around here. He does have Invis Rooms. He can check it if he wants to. If he does check it, that'll be a free Roshan or free agent for him. But they don't know that this is going on right now. They might know, okay, yeah, they, yeah, he definitely knows now. He sees OD walking over there. He's gonna go ahead and walk in there. He has some invisible, so all he has to do is just stand still and then pick up the ages whenever he wants. He's gonna go ahead and throw the ice wall, go for the fight. I don't think this is a wild idea. He's just waiting for them to kill Roshan and pick up the ages himself, and then he'll be happy, but he's gonna go ahead and lose his life for this. Uh, he does have his team rotating around the backside. Roshan does go down to the Radiant, so the Radiant are able to kill that, and that's, oh man, oh man, oh man, OD. OD gets killed right in front of him. OD gets killed right in front of him. Aegis gets put right to Elder Titan's hands. Dyer's top tower. could have picked it up. Attack. I think he was six slotted. No, he he had a slot for it. He's gonna go ahead and follow his other Titan. He said, bro, why you do that? And Dust Wolf's popped. Dust was out of range, so nobody's able to catch anybody. Elder Titan puts nobody to sleep right now. Timbersaw pops himself a Sorry, Jay pops himself the pipe. Dyer's so they're gonna go ahead and push with this. And this really, I mean that pipe is a little bit useless. There's nothing that can really Dyer's do. Our God is the only person here to do damage. Attack. He's he's like a kitty with he's like he's like a cat toy. He's what Luna calls him, a cat toy. Good job for cat toy. <clears throat> so we got TP coming in from time to time. So ulti is up in front of the throw. comes in. He throws his ulti. He go he's going to try to catch up with Timber They're going to go and focus the Elder Titan, but that's probably the wrong person to focus. He has ages. He puts time to sleep. Time takes massive amounts of damage. He goes down. And Bounty's on the run. Bounty's on the run. He's. He's a track. No, he he's. Uh, sorry, there's Rupta has a gem. That's what it was. So the Disruptor comes in with the gems, just gets killed on Bad Hunter, so that's a free kills. Free kills all around, kills on kills on kills. HHMP gets, um, gets banished, but doesn't care. But Kiss is trying to do it again, but oh man, he gets caught inside the silence, he gets caught inside the kinetic field. And this will be Tux falling right behind him. <coughs> Enigma's ulti is up, he can't pop it, he's gonna go ahead and pop it. I think Tux might be able to make it out alive. Nope, Enigma gets pulled right back into base. He's taking a lot of damage, he might be going down. He gets put to sleep. Nope, he doesn't get put to sleep. Sleepy is cancelled. Queen of Pain throws ulti, but <laughs> beautiful joke by beautiful juke by Dula. 
And no more farm kills for you guys. Uh, no, more, no more fountain kills for you guys. Move gonna come out try to try to go toe to toe with Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain just points away. I think Disruptor will finally going down. This is the person I need to focus the whole time. Bounty's gonna try to kill him. He's like, this is for all the times you protected me. I'm gonna kill you. He kills the gym as well. And what is this? Is that a creep? I I'm confused. What is, what is that? What is this floating there? Oh, that's Queen of Pain. Tusk go, we'll be going down as well. Oh man, so much damage coming from Woody as well. A lot of damage coming from Woody. And the Radiant, oh sorry, yeah, the Radiant finally fall in a team fight. But the Dire have lost everything. They have no racks, they have one tower, and they're, all the waves are pushing. Uh, they can't, they can't, they can't even leave the base right now, guys. And the, uh, oh man. Elder Titan throws out his ulti, I heard the ulti. I see the crack. And caught out, a Storm Spirit also caught out, and somebody else. Oh, he, you know, he was hanging out on the floor. He did throw his ulti, I think he yeah, did catch two. And he had Aegis, so he doesn't care. He's taking a lot of damage from that Midnight Pulse. That Midnight Pulse is doing 5% of his maximum HPS damage. Sleep, everybody gets put to sleep inside the fountain. And the creeps, oh my god, the creeps! Oh my god, the creeps! The creeps! Oh man, did you see the Oh my god, that was horrible. And there goes the end of the game, so... Man. Did you see the creeps? Wow, that was ridiculous. It's like, okay, so Elder Titan's sleep, it doesn't... It doesn't get cancelled. It only gets cancelled by hero damage. It doesn't get cancelled by any other damage. Wow, that's weird. I think it's OP. I think every creep picture you should, you should wake up, but apparently not. The creeps are able to get the kill on top of Tyhenger, I think, and then they were also able to help out, kill whoever else was over there. I didn't see for sure, but anyway, that was a random pub. That was a random pubcast. Um, it did play out like a random pubcast. No offense to any other players, but anyway, my name's Cool. We hope you guys enjoy the game. And that was one of those. Another one of those raffle stumps. I'll say that. But hey, we can expect that. So hope you guys enjoy the cast. I'll see.